Hello, it's Karen here with a quick tutorial on the Surprise Cube pop-up. We've had a customer that emailed us and she was having some issues and I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna film myself putting one together and I'll just make that available for everybody in case somebody else is having the same issues. Um, Okay, so once you've die, and I do think if you're making a go by with any kind of die that needs a double cut, like the surprise cube, just cut them out of different colors. It might make it easier, you know, to follow, to see what you're doing, make your go by that way. And then, you know, when you go to look at it later, you haven't made it in a while, you're like, oh, okay, right, the pink, you know, attaches to the purple here and, you know, whatever. Um, all right, so we're gonna find all the folds in each piece. Now, what you can do is just work them all away from you because the absolute, almost all of them are mountain folds. Okay, which means you're folding away from yourself. So there's one, there's one valley fold in it, so we only would have to reverse one if we work every single one as a mountain fold, okay? So mountain fold means that you're folding away from yourself. The only valley is actually right here in between the, the little rubber band holder, okay? And that's what brings that together where you can glue it together and have a shelf inside the cube that will hold the rubber band, okay? So definitely use your strong adhesive for that. So I've got my Lineco glue here. Okay. All right, let me just do that again here. I'm gonna go real fast. Uh, some mountain folds everywhere. Now I I chose actually a pretty thin cardstock, um, just because I just had a lot of colors of the thin stuff. And it was just a sample, um, but you know you can use heavier cardstock if you want. And if you are using the light stuff, then you probably want to definitely plan on using the decorator pieces that come in the set to strengthen up that cube. But this is just a go by, so we should be able to to do it out of this lightweight stuff. Okay. All right. So here's our two halves of the cube with the little rubber band attached. Okay. So important when you glue your two halves together, you have to make sure that you're gluing the tab from one half to the side of the other half so that you still have the tab to attach over here, right? So we wouldn't wanna attach a tab to a tab. A tab always attaches to a side, all right? So let's take our purple one here, add the glue all over that tab, and go here to the pink one and attach it on the side. So then kind of once I line it up, then I can fold it, or maybe I fold it from the beginning, I don't know. Anyway, to get it nice and straight, and you can see if you know everything lines up side to side, so that can be helpful. You know, you want that, that edge to line up and that edge to line up. Okay, so now we have this chained together cube, all right? So eventually, this tab is gonna go over here, pink is gonna attach to pink, purple is gonna attach to purple, Let's see? That's how it's gonna go, all right? But we gotta get the rubber band in. So now you can use uh, the little small number eights or you can use the number 12. So you can probably use the 12 firm stretch. You can, it doesn't really matter, but let's use the, the tightest rubber band that we recommend, which would be the number eight. Okay, so I'm gonna put the number eight in the rubber band holder over there and I'm gonna stretch it across and into the rubber band holder on the pink. And that's just gonna bring those right up next to each other because that's a tiny little rubber band. Okay, so now normally, if you watch the assembly video, you attach this tab next, okay? And then you stretch it open, which is a little hard to do because this is thin cardstock, to attach this to here and this to here. Because remember, pink goes to pink, purple goes to purple, okay? You can do it if you want to like this. You can stretch that thing open, okay? It's really gonna fight you. It's gonna be like, oh no, no, I don't wanna do that, okay? But you can hold that open if you want to while you fold in your two purple tabs. Let's make sure those are nice crisp folds there. Okay, let's add my glue to my purple tabs that are folded inward. Okay, actually, let me, let me see if I can keep this open while I come up and show you. All right, purple tab folded inward, glue on the tab. Purple tab folded inward, glue on the tab. Okay, then I can just take this half, fold it over, and attach my purple sides together. All right, okay, let me see, make sure I get that straight. All right, so this one's attaching up here. This one's attaching, sorry, right there. Nope, right here. Sorry, I didn't which one I was doing. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> these two. Okay, and now I have 
half of a cube. See? So my purple half is done. All right, so let me stretch that back open again. I'm going to flip that around because I'm right-handed. It's just easier for me to do the same thing in the same direction. Okay, so I'm going to hold that open. I'm going to bring in my pink tab. Give it a good pinch so it's nice and uh, crisp. That's the word I was looking for, crisp, a crisp fold. Like the crisp fall air that we do not have yet here in Houston, Texas. It is still quite hot. Okay, here we go. But I'm looking forward to it. We had a couple days recently where you walked out in the morning and it was like in the 60s. But, oh, it just feels so good. But not quite yet every day. All right, so let me make sure those are set up. Okay, and then now, let me let that go. I've got both halves of my cube. See, I've got my pink cube and my purple cube. And the only thing that's left is to attach them together with that tab over there. Okay, so maybe that's an easier way to do it if you want to. Um, oh, <laughs> it's like, no, I want to... I want to do that. Um, you can find a flat position to do that in, right? Because I can I can lay it open again and I can either pull those triangles out like this, which is maybe easier for attaching them. Just pull them out like this and then I can attach that tab. But I could have just as easily folded them inward. So, all right, so let's do some glue here on my pink tab. Okay, and then the purple's going to come into it. Okay, and there's my cube. So typically once you've put it together, oops, sorry, let me, I got real thin cardstock here, let me see. It'll, it'll probably be a little happier having those decorator pieces on it, because like I said, that's like 65 pound cardstock. So you can see here, right here, it's like, oh, you know, I'll just bend wherever I want to, because I'm thin. Um, okay, so there's the cube. And then uh, what you really want is, well, especially if you're putting it in the slider box. So if you're planning on putting it in the slider box, then you definitely have to have your your cubes in, you know, your uh, sides collapsing inwards. Um, but if you were putting in a card, technically they could fold outward or inward. You know, they could come out like this or they could go inward. But I, I like them. I think I like it better when they fold inward. So to make them fold inward, we got to push in between the triangles so that they collapse into the box as we pull it open. Okay, so when we pull it open. Now, can you pull it open this way? No, you can't. Okay, well, this way. You can't push against the rubber band sides because you'll feel how solid that is. The only way it collapses is if you push the sides that don't have the rubber band attached, okay? And then, like I said, you can push those triangles on both sides to fold inward and give it a good press, okay? And then it'll pop up like that. All right, so there's that cube. Okay, so it'll get real easy if you, you, you know, you make a bunch of them. It'll be fun. And then, like I said, if you like the slider box that's sold separately, but it does fit three, at least three. Sometimes you have to use lightweight, you might be able to fit more in there, but cubes inside there. And then when they open it, you know, they're going to fly out. Uh, so here's one that has cute little pictures of my dogs on it. Uh, all right. I hope that helps the assembly of the surprise cube. Have a great day.